Now, news first experienced an obstruction today in obtaining footage for our live coverage of the submission of nominations for the presidential election at the election secretariat in Rajagiriya. The disruption occurred at the instant that common candidate Maitri Palasi Risena was submitting his nomination. On the 6th of this month, in a fax address to the chairman of the MTV MBC Media Network, the Director General of the Department of Government Information, Professor Arya Ratna Athagala, noted that the submission of nominations to the presidential election would be telecast live on Rupa Vahini and that the video feed would be provided to other channels since the Rupa Vahini logo on the instructions of the Elections Commissioner. In the fax, Professor Athagala requested that preparations be made for the telecast and that the Deputy Director General of the Current Affairs Division of the Sri Lanka Rupavahini Corporation, Tilak Mahagamage, be contacted to obtain live footage of the event. A short while after the live telecast commenced, the Sri Lanka Rupavahini Corporation contacted our engineering director and informed him that they would be discontinuing the video feed of the submission of nominations. The officer from the SLRC noted that this action was being taken on the instructions of the Director General. As a result, at about 10.30 a.m., Sri Lanka Rupavahini Corporation ceased providing us with live footage minus the Rupavahini logo. At that time, it was the common opposition candidate, Maitri Palasirisena, who was submitting his nomination. Notwithstanding the disruption, News First telecasted the instance at which Maitri Palasirisena submitted his nomination using the video feed with the Rupavahini logo. Subsequently, News First contacted the Secretary to the Ministry of Mass Media and Information, Charita Herath, regarding the matter. After informing Charita Herath, the news director at News First contacted Tilak Mahagamage at SLRC and inquired into the cessation of the live video feed sans the Rupavahini logo. He informed us that they could restore the video feed minus the logo.